Hello, friends, and welcome to Gran Luca, a center for technological development in cocoa production techniques founded in 1962. The center seeks to promote cocoa production and lead Colombia to be recognized around the world as the best producer of cacao fino de Roma. With this initiative, we seek to benefit cocoa producers through a participative training model where agricultural workers learn by taking part in the process and then use the best information and practices to increase the productivity of their plantations. Come and join us during the Gran High Lucre experience. On 22 hectares of agroforestry systems in this Colombian region, we work towards genetic improvement, pruning design, and excellent agronomic practices, which we have shared with 32,000 people since 1962. Genetic improvement has brought us cocoa varieties that are self-compatible, precocious, highly productive, and especially many Fino de Aroma species. Traditionally, cocoa production is carried out through sexual propagation which leads to high genetic variability, meaning that it takes between four to five years to find out what kind of production is given. Asexual propagation provides us with a solution to many of the production problems. Using a grafting method to propagate the shoots, we can guarantee that 100% of our plantations are going to be homogeneous and highly productive. It all begins with the cocoa seed, selected from our manually pollinated production lots. Granja Luca produces the best seeds in the country, guaranteeing that the cocoa producers will receive a top quality genetic material. This is our cocoa fermenting laboratory. In controlled conditions, we can determine many variables that may operate in the fermentation process. And as such, it allows us to recommend the best method for the agricultural worker. Our cocoa bean quality laboratory teaches people on the courses about the importance of good practices on the farm and how this directly influences the final product. Here, we carry out the graining process, fermentation, roasting, and up to cocoa mass extraction. We allow the growers themselves to test and understand how their good or bad practices directly influence the final product. We invite you to see the training. Growing demand and new cocoa plantations have forced us to implement two strategies. The first is the establishment of a plot to produce only cocoa seeds, and the second, a crop forecasting methodology. Here, we are manually pollinating cocoa flowers in order to support the natural pollination process. We are loading a great quantity of fruit on each tree to satisfy a market and thus guarantee the best possible quality. The crop forecasting methodology, on the other hand, allows us to know in a time period of six months how much cocoa we will have available as seeds. Height pruning is very important in the plantation as it allows for light to enter the plantation and for all of the active flower cushions to bloom and promote production. The trimming also makes harvesting much easier by making the higher branches more accessible. The harvesting process takes place in ripe fruits which are over six months old. The cocoa growers take the cocoa pods from the tree and group them together on the plot. Then they break them open, dividing the beans in the pulp and the shell, which is a residue that is later reincorporated to the growing process. The beans are then taken to a mill to begin the fermentation process.
It is with the fermentation process that a good chocolate begins. Fermentation, in turn, begins with the harvesting, when the pods are broken open and the beans in the pulp, with high levels of sugar, begin an anaerobic fermentation process in which the sugar is converted to alcohol. Two days later, the mass begins to move as we can see, turning the alcohol into acidic acid. This process may last from four to six days, depending on the climate. Once the beans have fermented, they have to be dried in a process that lasts between seven and nine days. This process reduces the moisture for commercialized cocoa. During drying, any remaining acetic acid from the fermentation process is removed, and the final characteristics of the cocoa are shaped. This is Granja Lucre, a magical space which brings together science and nature to promote sustainable practices to increase cocoa production. All this framed within our Lucre Way concept which embodies our own perspective of sustainability. Thank you for sharing this trip with us.